Hendricks in Allegan County, where expelled lawmaker Cindy Gamrat is vying for her old seat. Leon? Sue and Brian, good evening. I spoke with Cindy Gamrat this afternoon. She says she gave it her all, and now she, like everyone else, is just waiting to see what the voters ultimately decide. Of course, Cindy Gamrat was booted for, from office after her extramarital affair with co-representative Todd Corser. Both of them now out of the House. Todd Corser eventually re resigned before he would have been booted, and she was actually escorted off the House floor and taken out of office. Now she wants her old seat back. She squares off with seven other Republicans to try and take this primary. Whoever wins will face the only Democrat who is running today. If you thought the hoopla from this ordeal would spike voting numbers, not the case yet, at least at the Gunplain Township Hall where we are now. Clerks say it's been low turnout today. When Gamrat ran the first time, more than 800 people showed up to vote in her primary, all told. So far, just over 700, and that includes the absentees that have come in. Now there's less than two hours to go until the polls close. Todd Corser is in Lapeer County trying to do the same thing. He wants his seat back, too. He's running against several others. Our crew in Lapeer County caught up with him tonight about the emotions surrounding this whole ordeal. There's a lot of emotion that happens and a whole bunch of stress and you go through a lot of, you know, mental fatigue, physical fatigue, and people don't know the stress that's on the family. Ken Colker will be there covering his camp. I'll be covering Cindy Gamrat here in Allegan County. You'll hear from both of them tonight. Right now, back to you two.